This tutorial is an introduction to the Nuke Viewer. I'm going to show you how to hook up a viewer and give you a brief outline of all the controls. Later tutorials will go into greater depth. First things first, let's view something. So the viewer is a node and needs to be wired up to view something. Here you can see that I'm pulling out the pipes to assign the buffers. We now have three buffers assigned, one, two, three, and we're looking at buffer one. We can cycle through these buffers by pressing the up and down arrow keys while the mouse is over the viewer, like so. Or we can look at the slot A and use this drop down to get to what one we want. Each viewer supports 10 buffers, so we can continually add more by dragging pipes, or we can use the numeric key to assign it. So if we press 6 here, 7, 8, 9, and number 10 is 0. As well as cycling the pipes with the arrow keys, we can uh, use the numeric key while over the viewer. So if I press 4 while over the viewer, I will get pipe 4. If I press 0, I'll get pipe 10. To navigate the viewport, you simply hold the Alt key and drag to pan around the image. For interactive zooming, or zooming around the point of the mouse, you hold the Alt key and the middle mouse button. Or if you have a, a mouse with a wheel, you can use that as well. Or your middle mouse button and marquee drag will drag to that zoom level. F will fit the viewer. Here we can see our zoom levels here as well. So we can uh, access those with hotkeys. And again, we've got F. And H will enlarge the viewer until either the height or the width hits the edge of the viewer. So we've seen how to connect a viewer. To uh, disconnect a viewer, we just drag the pipes away from the viewer like so. So now onto the controls. We need an EXR here to explain these channel drop downs. So let's assign it by clicking one. The first drop down is the layer drop down. And this controls what channels are mapped to RGB in the viewer. So if we go to diffuse, we can now see that diffuse is mapped to RGB. Go back. The next one is the channel drop down, which controls what channel is mapped to the alpha in the viewer. So if we turn the viewer to alpha, we can see now we can look at any one of these channels in this list when we have the A key assigned. Go back. This one here is the channel selector. This allows us to view the RGB together, which is what we've got now, or to view the channels individually. So red, green, blue, alpha. Also the hot key to get back, if you're in alpha it would be A, if you're in the blue channel it would be B. This drop down also allows you to view the luminance and the matte overlay. The matte overlay is going to place the alpha over the RGB. M to go back. Wipe controls. So let's move this along here. If we press 1 while this, this node is selected, we're going to assign buffer 1 here. If I click here and press 2, buffer 2 is assigned there. Now these three drop downs allow us to composite or wipe. So what we're going to do is we can choose the wipe. And then this will give us this jack, which we can uh, move around. And then this gives us our opacity. Oops. And here we can say what we want in slot A and what we want in slot B. So then back to normal, like so. Moving on to the 3D controls, so let's have some 3D. Here we can change the viewer from 2D to 3D. And then view the 3D from different orthographic views. So like top, if you press C earlier, let's go back to the perspective view. Also, with this drop down, we can select the different cameras that are available in the script. And then this will lock that view to that camera. If you have this button depressed, you'll notice that you will not be able to tumble around in the 3D. Let's just go back here and back to 2D. The second light at the top of your viewer gives you an f-stop slider which modifies only the viewer and not the pixels in your stream. So like so. And by clicking the f-stop button, you will toggle between the default and the last adjustment. So if we make that adjustment there, and back to default, last adjustment. Next you get a gamma slider, which again only affects the pixels in the viewer, not in the stream. And the same deal with the button toggle to last change. You can also reset any slider in Nuke with a control click and that will reset it. 